tsenga ata tse fapaneng tseo re ka dietsang wetsa challenge re ka sebedisa bogoni ba rona ho iqalla dikgwebo lo ruta batho ba bang tse go enela ka le bakala tlhoko ya mesebetsi e aperetseng le fatse ka bophara batho ba bangata ba bona go le molemo ho iqalla dikgwebo tse ileng tsa bona empa ho itshebeletsa ga go bobebe me ho bohlokwa go tseba ka botlalo se o sebeletsang go bona ke ka ho rileng mona go thusa go etsa rents with sense Rale a mohela who rents with sense Lena ne hole batlang hore ma Afrika borwa wohle a nahane ka ditsela tse fapaneng tsa ulaula chelete ya bona ka jem re bua ka ho ikalla gwebo le ma Afrika borwa a nkileng diqeto tsa o nka taolo ya maphelo a bona ha mmoho le bokamoso ba bona entrepreneur ke motho ya ikallang gwebo ka tshepo ya ho iketsetsa likeng ho na le mathata a mangata a tlang le ho ikalla le ho tsamaisa gwebo Empale ha ho le jwalo ho ipona o etsa rent with sense ke ntho e khotsofatsana Moeti wa rona wa pele ke nthabeleng dikotsi ma khwebo ya ikalletseng khwebo ya stofe ha ga tianeng le nthabeleng go utlwe gore o tlile jwang ka leano le na la gae Um le bitsela ka ke nthabeleng dikotsi um 31 etswa botshabelo ko free state uh ke holetse in an entrepreneurial family botsa di ba ka bana le school in school in from shop and the factory uh it's called dikotsi school in from so ke fitlile gauteng just after metric ha ke qeta me metric ke ntse high school ya ka maria sal high school I did get a metric to be to study accounting co Pretoria Technicon to study accounting from 2002 to 2004 I get to more have a job at University of Johannesburg to learn my post grad in accounting so when I did my honors to be at the University of KwaZulu Natal a correspondence got a lot of the Kia Motors and then get to the lot of Kia Motors to study at the UKZN we get to Hakia and then after Kia Motors South Africa Bigia Imperial get my articles in the more hageza my articles i think 18 months got a contract there got 3 years we get decide oh this is not me uh, i love accounting i'm good at it mar ha se ntho ke batlang ho yetsa bophelo ba ka ka ofela be ke ke decide hore ke tlhlela ba sebetse The reason ke tlhelletse mo sebetswa ka gore ke tlo iqalla my own thing. Ke go pore bele ga nyane ka ka khwebo bo isi mulitsi. Ke qadile Young Women in Business Network 7 years ago, a leng broad based investment company. Silmong Sonase that was early 2009. Ah ke tlhelletse mo sebetswa ka January 2009. Be ke so Silmong so sa 2009 in elo ya ho dimo le fatshe ke tsana le yona yona business yo until ka 2010 ek decide ho khutlela schooling ke lo study ya entrepreneurship a certificate in entrepreneurship covets business school hanse ke le vets me ke bona hore no man nka se yetse nka se go through the skill one hona le batho ba batse tshwantse ke ba kopanya re kopane ka ofela re tlo bona hore na ha re sebetsa ka ofela re tlo etsa jwa So we give it like it's a first conference Young Women in Business Network Summit. Got 2010. Ile hona ke reng hona le di business opportunities ke invite abatho he di companies na tse different ke a le ke le tleng le tlo go jetsa ho gana di opportunities na tsa lona di ho kae le ho gana ke di accessa jwa. Hantsa ke plena yona summit a teng be ke partner le Uh, e khurileni municipality le company ne ke sebeletsa pele ha ne ke qala ho sebetsa ya in the car industry 
ele bona ba ka thusang hore re put it together ya ba e success um the first one beki bona hore hey vanna e bile successful beki ona bo tsmo tik tsa tsi ke etse beki beki plan ya bo bet ha ke plan na the second annual summit in 2011 then research even in a key yet and a little hope what's a horror but what does it mean to be black to be young to be a woman in south africa today huntington this act yeah broad-based black economic empowerment ibulela in hands against a research of a carry no on a little now but how about to buy a copan as the groups but you copan albert was on a little medloria sorobi but I didn't we pulled five women bailing about companion challenges are one together by user in the BE the ownership number one by invest in companies then it's shocker transformation but if you like a realizer uh, Ukamba trust which was a BE broad-based BE for your own company and in a key book on a curriculum mother body to cop an alternative element coin I learn and good to her Hannah Kala Ukamba trust with got like a 20 million. Hana is here in less than 10 years, we see on 4 billion. I would see the assets that day. That is proper BE. Because, but what thing we need to get a company to save it down, dear down. Okay. Hands to get some more research. Make if man hog. The stock fed. There's a 44 billion. The stock fed. It's a bomb. You are a family. You are a link. Hot on. Here's a 44 billion. But tell it to you. Look at 44 billion. How boo a guy on? How to it's informal? I recognize the way. Chuang, does it mean hurry? Neki puts a hurry, does it mean hurry? Pomuaka have a table who invest or have a table who save because that's saving. In Bevela Ribita, stock fells. Stocks, stock fells are actually a brilliant idea. Um, and one has to learn to respect the informal sector for actually coming up with such kind of a mechanism. However, there are certain enhancements that one can bring on stock files. So in order for one to maximize return on, on such an amazing vehicle, it is important to actually start educating oneself on the formal sector. Harriet Fifth Summit, Niki invite to Switzerland, Kilo represent but Babo Meba Kwebaba South Africa in Switzerland. Harrele Mono became introduced to a concept in your cooperative banking. Kileka Telakiman Hano Hore, Tonaki Stock Fell, Impafella, Haisoka Eva legalized and regulated. Haki Hutala, South Africa, Haki Trades at the Fifth Annual Summit, Baki Shera Information in an Libertuan about in the Libertuabo, Melbatabon Dat, when I was a fellow Kabatabo me. Bekafitla Kiri, Honal in Trajana, it's a Halang South Africa cooperative banking. It's like a corporate financial institution. It's a bit of a general, general, general. So I'll take it right. It's a bit of a talk off. It's a bit of a bit of a talk off. It's a bit of a relevant. 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 It's that they can, with their skill and their, their business, they can make a dent in the industry. And both ways are really, really exciting ways in pulling the right levers with entrepreneurs when they want to take their businesses to the next level or start a business. There's no wrong and there's no right. But, you know, if you identify which one it is, then, you know, you, you'll feel stronger about taking your business to the next level because you know, I'm dissatisfied, I'm not going to knock myself backwards, but I'm going to change it. Vision. I know I can make a difference. I can't sit back and just dream about it. I need to act on it because only action is going to bring you closer to that dream. So both ways, very good ways in starting or growing a business. Ntabele wila repete la hore banka ena ya haya ya stock fell esebet ajwa. I governor ki national treasury and a cooperative bank development agency. I shoka ba a minimum 200 people. Uh, 100,000 rand share capital, and you must have a common bond. Common bond, you will allow her now. 
business network Seven years, it's off. That's the common bond. Yeah. Hundred thousand rand share capital. Yeah, we're not going to get like a two million because shares are not going to ten thousand rand per person. I'm afraid that we're going to get the five hundred and fifty rand administration fees. The annual. The shares are how how direct are going to ten thousand rand once off. So the ten ten thousand key hundred shares at hundred rand value. And then license I wanna give money, go who give her the loans, go who fanaka the loan or the who save. License I wanna give money from CBDA. Just like save the thousand rand, we deal with it for now. We can only five years. But to buy ba 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 for money, we naturally need about three hundred. Ba bang ba ka dile, ba ne ba attend the summit. Ba bang kimidiye, ba bang ba utule ba tuwa bua kayo na. So let's keep it up. Bye for bye for banning. Bye long for the bag join. We are Tabi. So hot say bye for my Africa boy. I have to do not hot for banning. We are Papa Zama. I'm a born and chilled. Come on, Papa. You two that can't do a bit of crowdfunding. Me who want to go back home. We are going to wait for you. We are going to wait for you. Like it rains with sense. Le nane hole ba patang di tse la tse mule mo. Zau tswara chele te ya hon. Ho ritse be ho atle hama pelong a hon. Kaje no reche ba na le entrepreneurship. Mere bona ho ma Africa bora ana lindi huwebo. Aye tsang ho nete fata katle ho ma pelong a hon. Mwe tiwaro na ya la te la ki entrepreneur e kalle tse mo khalo wa crowdfunding. Crowdfunding kitsela esebe zanga internet kutusa boga kwebo ufuma na chelete ya wikala kwebo za mwona. Hari tia nengliena, rudwe habazi ka kwewe ya hai. Eka malamu ujafta petu nchale kate hu na 54 years. Umsebe nzu ongye za yongi promoter e crowdfunding ima lukshini ni promota ni zile kuti ufunume tu mpaka tuogiti uguti ututu ye kuonga ma project ba fungo yeye nzangu kuti is not agu kulula uguti abantu ba hamu ba utola amafundi so ni zamu kuti sna tena tu kuti uba bonge na baba tova zamu kuti ba risa amafundi ba na pigu government pay ba chesbe na ma isini zile futi sisi sisi zoku risa amafundi. Ama challenge sisi mwa boni lela elokshi nugu tume abantu abaninga abana wa maskilisho ogu rarama business abantu abaninga abana enough capital imali enga ni jogo tuba kala ma business sawa ogu tii aze atutu. The economic condition currently in South Africa is very very difficult, especially for someone who wants to start a business. And the biggest challenges are in sourcing funding. And secondly, there is big competition. Everyone is thinking of an idea of starting a business. And when people have started a business, they tend to block those who are coming in. So those are the biggest challenges currently. To source funding, uh, normally you find that your big sponsors will want you to raise something like 30 to 40 percent upfront. And that becomes a challenge. And most, most, more often than not, it's actually people who start businesses are people who are trying to make a living. And they're starting from a zero base. And therefore, to raise 30 to 40% of the amount needed to run a business becomes a big challenge. So, I'm going to tell you, my business plan is to make a business plan for my business plan. My financial projections is a mile. So I mean, I'm saying that we're going to start a new zone. We're going to start a new zone. We're going to start a new zone. La pe office ni si cha cha wantu standard price. We're going to spend it. We want to make a phone number to register the company or to register the NPO. Then we're going to make a cost issue. We're going to make a new business plan. Spend it and we're going to buy a car. We're going to spend it and we're going to buy a car. We're going to spend it and we're going to buy a car. 
but my ile yonje le yokuthi ke loko kunani loko ba keep us khona ukuthi sibhadela ama internet sibhadela nama rent mangizothola le ndaba ye cultural funding bengi lo ngihamba ama workshop wa ma fundraising manje ukuthi ama sise workshop ini e Johannesburg ba introduce e cult funding kula ngicale ukufunda khona ngayo ngaye landelela deeply ngayithola kahle ukuthi isebenza kanjani ngasenyabona ukuthi this is one of the fund systems is sitting here na e country into indlela emnandile crowdfunding isebenza ngayo indlela le ukuthi uthola abantu abakudonate layo so ukusho ukuthi wena uma une project or no msebenzi owenzayo owe community ufanele ukuqhaze so that abantu bazokhona ukuzisisa kahle ukuthi yini le nto le uyenza yabona and ukusuka lapho ke uyayithola imali ekufanele uthunze msebenzi ngayo awugolodi awubhadale back into ebalekile ukuthi kufanele ukuthi sinede abantu abantu kufanele sibatshe ngeqala ukuthi lo muntu lona uregistile lo muntu lona une business plan lo muntu lona unama bank account lo muntu lona uregistile nesars mangaba ana register ana ana na business plan samnqeda ukuthi abe naye so that kuzobalula ukuthi sisebenze naye abe ne bank account imali izingene kule bank account le registile imali uma ingenile emuntwini so asikane asina indlela ukuthi sizomonitora khona manje ukuthi usebenzisa imali kanjani ngoba kuwe ngumuntu lo oyitholile lemali leyo ukuthi mangene ku business yakho ukuthi uzisebenzisa kanjani so manje but enye into futhi bengifuna ukuyichazela abantu ukuthi bafane bazi we must have the financial records ukuthi usebenzisa imali kanjani ngoba kuzofika ukuthi insikhathi abantu bazofuna ukubuza ukuthi imali isebenzise kanjani abantu bazawufuna ama audited statement so uma ngalazo lezi nto lezo angeke usayithola i uncedo ngelinye la akukho into eqindezela abantu ukuthi bangaphana nge feedback kepha i feedback ebalekile ukuthi abantu bafane bafane ngoba you know abantu baba kupha imali bakudonethela fane bazi bheke ukuthi wena wenzini ngale imali le ibutho eminqada edlang lo sebedisa megahlo ena ya crowdfunding ufumana tshelete ya ho iqalla ka ba o hudisa khwebo tsa gona gile ga buisana le muweli wa mogahlo o bitswang tanda fund ho utlwa ha batsi ka crowdfunding what crowdfunding allows is many people to come together and by giving relatively small amounts build a, a large amount of money that, that allows people to launch new ideas into the world So how crowdfunding works is that you'll have an idea and you'll take it online and post it on on a crowdfunding platform. Once it's on a crowdfunding platform, people get to see your your campaign and if people like your idea, they'll buy into your idea by donating to your campaign. To give you an idea of the of the scale that crowdfunding can achieve, Thunder Fund in South Africa last year um, has raised over 8 million rand for projects in South Africa some for as little as 5000 rand others up to 500000 rand so how crowdfunding works in south africa is that you'll need an idea and uh, a project that is either running already a video a quick 1 minute to 2 minutes explaining exactly what you're going to do with the funds that you receive and how you'll be spending it then you need to work out exactly how much you'll need to as a minimum or tipping point and then your dream goal what you'll do with the most money that you can receive so you've got your idea out there um you've told people about it you've got your video now you need to say what can i give you for actually backing me so we'll take lunwabo who um who wanted to buy a new bucky to deliver gas because he you know his business is he delivers gas he's a gas dis- distributor he needed 65000 rand but he didn't necessarily need to raise the total if he was able to raise part of that money then another institution like a bank would give him the remainder so what could he give in return so he said that for 100 rand i'll give you a virtual high five on facebook to say thanks very much another reward he offered was he said i could give you access to a really cool experience for 1000 rand you got to travel with lunwaba in his bucky while he delivered gas and he gave you a bit of a tour of his hood in kailicha that was a real hit because people said this is something unique and interesting it was also quite clever because it was not costing him anything more 
So he was taking the product he was delivering and saying, how could I translate it in a way that people would actually respond and to something that was cool and interesting they couldn't get anywhere else. Now, using those rewards and a, and a couple of others as well, Lenoir raised 25,000 Rand. Now, every project has a minimum tipping point because for Lenoir, if he didn't raise 20,000 Rand, then he wouldn't be able to even step out the door and go and speak to a bank. So the banks were saying, you raise part, you need a minimum of X amount, then we'll speak to you. Lenoir raised 25,000 bucks. He's now two, a third of the way to getting his bucky. He's now going to a couple of financial institutions to actually raise the remainder. For the financial institution, it's great because they can look at Lumwab and say, people believe in your business. You've had the chutzpah to get out there and raise that cash. And we can see that you're actually good at marketing. So now we're investing in you as the person, not just the idea. So how important are our finances to, to aspiring entrepreneurs? On the one side, it's very important, but equally important is a supportive ecosystem for those entrepreneurs. And that's where crowdfunding is really powerful, is on the one side you raise the capital, but on the other side you're, you're raising or building an ecosystem of support around that new idea and that entrepreneur. Haribua ka maemo arona a chelete. Geta mea o nahana ka tse la tse fapaneng tsa hui pirisa. Me ho tsa ho rona hue tsa rents, with sense. Hai bo batla u fumana thuso go tswa go ditsibitsa gona gore u fumane tokologo maemong a hao a chelete. Etela rents with sense.co.za. Ka bo wetele Facebook page ya rona. Me o re phetele pale ya hao. O tlamea o ikemisetsa go hlaga television ning ka pale ya hao. Ke ona mo hato wa pele wa wetsa rents with sense. who rents with sense. Le nane ho lo hutang ho laola chelete ya hao ka tsela tse fapaneng. Ka jeno, re shebana le entrepreneurship, me re bona ho go ikalla gwebo, ho ka re tswela molemo jwa. Ha ho bo bebe ho ba ga gwebo. Me ha o sena tsebo etletseng ka seo o sietsang, bo ka tiana le mathata a mangata. Empa le ha ho le jwalo o ka sebedisa boitsebiso le thuso efe ka pa efe e o ka ifumana ho ithuta ha batsi ka seo o sietsa mwedi wa rona ya latela wi lang ka qeto ya o tlohela mosebetsi me ya ba wi qalla gwebo ya o rekisa dijo divisa ra ke nna la ke ngadima ke na le di jara tse 29 ke boletse motho wa za ke na le business motho wa ke <laughs> I didn't say the name of the idea of a rebel restaurant of some sort. So, more to Tilan Karijota, just African. Didijota Katakoka, like Renka lifestyle, they are good through Rikise Lokshin. So, I did hard in Silting, Marashop, it got over Tangy, got 2015 March. Nakimoto, who led in family in a Renadi business, Tatoka and Analyst Paisa Shop, and Al Tavin. So, I came to school. Since from Monday, business is not going to school. I was going to school. I was going to school. I was going to school. After school. In 2010, I graduated as a mechanical engineer. So, 20, from 2010, June, I was going to for a company. I was going to interior designer. I was going for four years until 2012. Um, until sorry, 2014. for four years. Then after mo, kimo kwa nini karasi kile ringi kore? No, ngakata la something ilo mara kito kono ya apply from school um. Kanto tani kitu pila zone. Cause nikmatlo bali chelete now and then. Kwa nini karasi chelete niki kwa na nini ni ya? So from mo kachala ka 
Karika equipment. Equipment there are events. Body ten, the tool, sound system, and then Katalaka, Kati Hairis. So it happened for a whole motor and all Hairis are now ignoring your knowledge. So Karaka is severe for day to day basis. Kitla is a fast food shop. So Katalaka, Kawita, the Dijo, Gota. Then from Mo, Gawano Hori, because the whole journal space is not. Kawiki Kenya de Cruza. Kahwedi, more renting, spend 2,000 rand. And then for electricity, 700 rand. The Stokosa Sadikota, Kereka Kavik. So I spend almost 2,000 rand for the, for the, for the show, a week. So from 2,000 rand a year, I know I'll make 25% as profit from where. Um, yeah, so it's only the cost of the cake and the cake. So it's only the cost of the cake and the cake. I'm going to have to pay for the cake and the cake. I'm going to pay for the cake and the cake. I'm going to pay for the cake and the cake. I'm going to pay for the cake and the cake. So chelde, how na how na, mukholo only mo fixed for bon. So we are going to receive the joan holding him. But mukholo abo na hanga the how be less than a thousand kahui. So we chelde rain time for for the expenses. So unka chukaz oh, na la brada kan zero zama o kopanya di di equipment studying za za for the events. So zero rekan chunya na zero zero short time for for to take. So har na mukholo SPC like handland. Equipment eh, kita sebagai sang mo mo shopping, aga aga yang mereka kos itu mah ni rent. Kau faham tu seling mo kaya di rent. Eh, fikir yang kaka mo it was simple. Kau rey nak kita sebagai sale omong am khutua. Unfortunately, wila tolam sebagai mara yang nak kisin zaman zaman mo industri ni awak betul di jo. So nanti saya bawa korek ini esok dah angkai ini awak tak kalah angkai rey. Rukun awak pun ikat bisnes ya di jo. Kara aku asyik bawa dengar tentang daun cerik sang dijo around Moro. Mara, rona cerik di sering di different from di di kota tu cerik yang cebal itu. Enak habis di produk saya rona uskala bala kore. Rutsuri di top of the range produk. Di expensive hari direct kamera. Kau zari direct in bulk di bawah cheap for rona. Enen macam macam cerita tu orang hangat dah kore. Mula rutsula quality food. Enen dijo zat ini di mana di kian antu yang sangat rebel. Number one, ngacho, within the area. The prices that are the reasonable, mara. The idea, cause the idea is here. Also, I'm not sure now, but I'll tell you. Cause the minimum I told you is 10 rand, and then the maximum is no more. It's it's expensive. Get the 10 rand there, ya kwa. On a good day, rega rega sa di kota sa sa 100, which we normally sell them ka ka di weekends. Especially because Saturday is cause her half feel like ground. So I know for a fact, girl, Saturday if there is a tournament, I will make two grand from the court thing. More baking, ngacho kore Monday to Thursday. Hoba quiet from saying, and then dirare after school from two o'clock until late six o'clock. More carrier to the court I would say fifty to hundred. The sales store is about 700 rand. Maximum we catch from Dijo. Most of the things are a spice shop. The other thing I go by Dijo is something the spice shop is aside. So, my something is spice shop. For now, no spice shop. I'm going to say that we are not busy. We should be doing. But the other thing is a mahanya compared to Dijo. The good thing. One day I would like to see the business. Having its own space, where the space belongs to the business, no more renting, and then electricity. Um, that will be the only expense. I've always been independent. I've never had an extra financial support from anyone, because at the moment, shop ya kono maintain na kapi. So the only financial help in kaya kaya batlang koreki. How can I expand to how many people are going to need to do this? Because the big bank is not going to be able to do this. Because the village is serious. 
kile ka kaya for for funding ka batla funding ho di institution tse sebsanka ka di funding ho government kile ka kaya o bona but till today we still waiting for it. maybe in the ballot processing mara we hoping for it. I was sort of level ka ta batla tsa funding how do entrepreneurs get around the problem of funding there's numerous different channels that an entrepreneur can look at for funding, and that is um, through debt, through looking at debt, through looking at giving away equity, and also looking at crowdfunding. There's no one channel that is the perfect answer. There are many different channels depending on your, on your situation. If you have family or friends who can provide capital or who can provide security, they don't need to give you the cash, but what they can do is they can act as a guarantee or provide you with surety to do so. The, the biggest problem in, in, in sourcing funding, people want to go and actually ask for two million, three million or five million. If you can break down your business into smaller chunks and say, you know what, if I've got this, I can actually start from here. I can, and also think of partnering with someone with a buyback thing to say, after five years, I can buy back my business. You can get, there are lots of people like that who just want to invest for a period and then they don't want to stay invested. They want to come out and go and look for a new business. So if you can search and go around, you can actually find these people. But we have more community, we have support. We have a lot of people who are in the world. We have a lot of people who are in the world. But we have more community, we have a lot of people who are in the world. As long as it's a home. And then, because they know that they're attracted to what they're playing in the Because of the Gabon. So, they're going from home to the marketing. They're going to be satisfied with the business. They're going to be satisfied with the business. Yes, I'm going to be here. 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 Rebuwa le ga khwebo ya rent with sense mona ho SABC2 ka jeno rebuwa ka ho iqalla khwebo le mathata a tlang le sena the entrepreneur tsenga ata di qalla di khwebo ho bani di bona ho re sena se molemo ho feta ho sebelletsa motho e mong empa le ha ho le jwalo ho na le batho ba bangata ba iqallang di khwebo ho bane ba hloka chelete ya ho iphidisa tlhoko ya mesebetsi e phahame ha ho lo mona na eng ya rona me re tlameya ho etsa eng ka pa eng ho iphidisa ngweti ya rona ya latelang ke ga khwebo ya iqalletseng khwebo ka tlasa mabaka ana ha ho tlweng ha batsi ka pale ena ya hae Ni mis mes na mkhalela na from Zimbabwe and I have got a wife and two children the one in Zim the wife and the other the last child is here in South Africa Ah, the first one I've got uh, seven years, and the second I've got two years. I've been uh, living in South Africa for almost about eight years. This is when I go to South Africa to have a living, find something to eat, because there are no jobs at my time. I came here selling these baskets. Then when I finish, I go back home. Then I come here again. Then I work for other guys who are weaving these baskets. I started my own business. I can say it. three years ago, then I stopped because I was not having enough money to run the business. Then I would go to work for, for other people. Then I decided again to, to make the, to do my own business. The guy I was working for, give me the material. Since I was working for him nicely, give me the material. Then I started my own business, the same business, that one, that I was working for, the guy I was working for. The material that I use, some I use, use the pallets, some I use the, the sticks, we buy the sticks from Stanley Bosch, the sticks for making the fence. Yeah, with the pallets I make boxes, and some of the fences, like picket fences, 
with those palettes. Uh, you see, the, I normally say my, my friends is the small one, I can sell it for 120. The medium one for 250. And the big one, I sell it for 400. The challenge that I face, no matter when it's raining, man. We don't sell when it's raining since we are only open space. And the transport, sometimes to transport, to transport my, my things, since I don't have any transport. Crime is also another problem, yeah, because there are some people who can come and just sit. When a customer comes here, they can treat us, give us money. I choose to establish my business here, because it's nearer to home. I work, I don't use transport. I motivate to be here every day. Looking for customer, otherwise one day I can get a, a big a big job. Like you see those fences can have a big order. So I have to wake up every day, come here and work. Since I'm a father, I have to work hard. Since there is no jobs, I have to try with my best so that maybe one day God will help me. The past years, when I was working for the, for the other guy, it was, it was a little bit better. But now, since it's raining, and the, the, the current is, is coming weak, ah, the business is very quiet business. Ah, there's no jobs here. You can work, you can take a long time looking for a job, but don't get it. So it, this one, I can say, is better for to make your own things and sell. I think South Africa, more than many developing countries, needs entrepreneurship to succeed. If you're familiar with the GEM report, which is an annual report on entrepreneurship in the world, um, we consistently rank very low in terms of our entrepreneurship success rates and our entrepreneurship uptake and how many people are actually interested in being entrepreneurs. I think we have a culture in this country of looking for the corporate cushy job rather than the slog of starting your own business. And I think a lot of people that become entrepreneurs in South Africa do so out of a survivalist need, not out of a desire to be an entrepreneur. unemployment rate Khonayanu, uh, a lot of people parallel to government who create a mebereko. Entrepreneurship is a way of who is a show for batu, but by the opportunities or who generate income on their own. My name is Seti Mangaza. I am selling vegetable, fruit and veg here in Phoenix. I started selling because. I had problems in my country, in Zimbabwe, and my, I have only two children which are here. So I couldn't get food, I couldn't pay, get money to pay, to buy electricity or to pay for my water bills. So I had to come here to stay with my children. Then I find out that I can do something. I'm still strong to do something. So I started selling fruit and veg. Uh, in a good month, I make about about 5,000 and something. In a bad month, I make about four, about four point something. Yeah, I can say the money that I make is enough. It's enough for me because I buy, I buy food, I buy toiletries, I, I pay my rent, and I also support my one child who's looking after my house in Zim. I get my stock in Epping. I get someone who takes me at about half past 3 a.m. to go and get better stock, cheaper stock, early. So I go about three, four times a week. Uh, most times I must spend something like one and a half to two thousand because stock is now expensive. In my life, I've, ha I've had a lot of businesses. Because in the, I, I was once a day tripper stocking shops in Zim. And then I was coming here to sell doilies. And I also, have, in my country also, I had a shop. I had grinding mills of my own. 
but they are all now closed because of the poor you know, economy. What entrepreneurship can do for an economy like ours is that it can create nodes of job creation in areas where other formal job creation opportunities are very limited. In that space, perhaps entrepreneurship and successful small businesses in those communities could actually make a real impact. And we always hear government telling us that small business is the engine room of our economy and you know it's it's the way forward and I would fully agree with that. We are perhaps don't agree is in terms of the playing field that has been created for entrepreneurs and small businesses in this country. The fact is that South Africa remains one of the most challenging and costly places in the world to start and successfully run and sustain a small business and that needs to change. Ushebelletse rent with sense. Lenane hole batlang horma Africa bora oshi. Alla ole chelete ya bona kama kheti. Kajeno, ribua ka entrepreneurship. Dimi puto ham moho liri tamo rao te tlang le sena. Rila ka kopa di tibi tarona hore di kedi ne bora kwe bo di keleto te I think there's a number of reasons why starting and running a successful business in this country are challenging. Number one would be skills, entrepreneurial skills are not taught at schools enough. I think people leave school without a knowledge of what it takes to run your own business and that why, that's why we have a very high failure rate. I also think that our legislative landscape is not in favor of the entrepreneur. We have some of the most onerous labor laws in the world, and I think that's a direct result of our history and our past where certain people were persecuted and exploited. I almost feel like we've gone too far in the other direction. You know, as an employer, you need autonomy. You need to be able to dismiss someone if they're not performing, if they're stealing, etc. You shouldn't have to go through a three-month process to get rid of a bad apple, for example. I think that our tax structure needs to be looked at. I would like to see a scenario where a small business is exempt from tax for, for the first five years of its life. Give it a break, give it a chance to succeed. I think that um, there's a number of permit requirements and so on that are, are challenging in this country as well. So basically the red tape and the bureaucracy to get a business successfully registered and functioning in South Africa is not just time consuming but it's really expensive. And if, if we are serious that small business is the future of our economy and the savior of our economy and the engine room of our economy as we always hear it is especially around the election time i think that we need to see some real brave and decisive steps taken to make starting a business a, a, a painless process for budding entrepreneurs i think people in South Africa tend to get dazzled by overnight success stories. In my experience, and I've now been a mentor for 10 years and I've personally worked with probably 800 to 1000 individual entrepreneurs, um, what I've identified as a core trait is firstly that overnight success thing doesn't happen very often and the reason why it makes the newspapers is because it's so rare. What we found is that someone could be the world's best tomato grower or the world's most talented artist or the most meticulous accountant but unless they actually have a handle on or an understanding of the business behind their business their chances of success are very slim. 
You know, being an entrepreneur is multifaceted. It's challenging. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You know, you have expectations on you that you need to be a number of different things and, and perform a number of different roles within one business. One day you're doing sales, the next day you're doing finance and admin, then you're marketing and so on and so forth. It is challenging. What people tend to do is they gravitate towards their areas of strength or their areas of comfort. So, and they tend to ignore the other sides of the business. And that's usually where the cracks start to show. One of the major pitfalls as an entrepreneur is when you lose focus and you tend to panic when you have hit a hump. It is very important to stay on your goal. Do not try and attempt something else that's different from your main goal. Always stay on your goal. Try knocking on various doors until you succeed. Once you start something else on the side and something else on the side, your attention is divided and you won't make any progress. So it is important to stay focused, fight your way through until you reach your goal. In my experience, having been a mentor and a business development specialist for 10 years now and having worked with hundreds if not thousands of entrepreneurs, I've identified that one of the core traits to success is perseverance. There's very seldom overnight success that happens in a business. All businesses tend to ebb and flow. They do well, then they don't do so well, and things come in cycles. And it's about being tough. It's about being focused on your end goal, having a vision for your future. It's about being adaptable and flexible to the changing trends out there and the market needs. And it's about having guts and and a willingness to take risks. So I often get asked like, what, what are the key drivers for an entrepreneur to ramp their business to the next level? What tip have I got for an entrepreneur? And this, it is this, if you're wanting to start your own business or you're seeing other people succeed and you're not there, don't lose faith in your dream. Don't lose faith in your dream because other people can do it, you can do it. That's the main thing. If other people can be successful entrepreneurs in their business, then so can you.